Hello, congratulations on your 125th anniversary in Trinity Lutheran Church. My name is Hans Vindelbo Bürger and I'm Danish. I live here in this small village in the very northern part of mainland Jutland, Denmark, connected to Germany and only 120 kilometers by ferry to Norway. In 2005, I worked as a teacher at this boarding school, Horne Efterskole, for pupils aged 15, 16, 17. And together with my colleagues, we wanted to show them that the world is much bigger and larger than you can ever imagine. So we planned to take 18 young pupils to Nigeria, to Adamawa State, and especially to meet the local pupils, the local youth in Adamawa. And after a long journey, we sat in the round church of St. John, St. Lumen, where Kaya Baba told the story about the church. Kan man godt se, at det er meget historisk sted. Det er den første kirke, der er bygget i det her område, i hele staten. Det her område. Den blev bygget i 1917 af en læge, der hedder Dr. Urenholt. Ja, jeg har mærket lidt, at det er navnet Dr. U er Torben Urenholt. Er du en familie med den? Nej, det er du måske ikke. Nej, det er du ikke. <laughs> Indeed, my former colleague's family name is Urenholt, and here he, more than 6,000 kilometers from home, unexpectedly met his ancestors. So, my forefather Mogens and little brother have built this church here. Mogens Marinus Urenholt was born in this white house, October 15, 1876, in this small village called Österutrup, just outside Aalborg in the northern part of Denmark. He was born into a Lutheran family. His father was one of the elders in the local church. And there were no points which could have showed that he was to become a missionary to Nigeria. In fact, he was to become a merchant. So he studied commerce in Aalborg. But surely his life took other ways. I'm going to look after a luftbild of the area where Eline was buried in 1920, when she died. For more than 15 years I have been studying the life and times of Morgens and Deline Urenholt, always with the focus on telling their story to keep their memory alive. And here in November 2018 I again visited Numan in Nigeria in search of Eline's grave. And finally I found it, renovated but still in place. This was the end of part one out of six in the story of our wonderful friendship between Kenmare, Denmark and Nigeria. I hope you stay tuned for the other parts and hope you have a wonderful celebration at your anniversary in Kenmare.